Hello Floss Tube. I'm Sarah. My channel is Handmade by Sarah W. And I'm here with Floss Tube number 12. Today is October 29th and I'm excited to have you join me today while I talk about cross stitch. So it's been two weeks since I've seen you and to be honest, I haven't cross stitched a ton, but I'm going to show you what I do have. And one of those is a fully finished stitch and I'm very excited to show that to you. So I haven't stitched a lot just because um, my family and I went to the beach. We had a wonderful time, perfect weather. It was fantastic, much needed getaway. So I'm gonna just jump right in with the stitch that I did finish. I finished this last night and I have been working on this for uh, I guess I think I started it in like June or July. It was the last time that I had gone to the beach and I took this with me because I thought this seems like the perfect just fill in stitch to take and it ended up being a really fun stitch. This is Floral Glass by Carolyn Manning and I really love it. I did it on a 16 count Ada. Picture this plus in, in it's in the color Glacier. I had actually um, kitted this up like right before I went to the beach. So it wasn't, I already had the fabric on hand. In fact, I bought it for another project and I'll tell you about that in a, in a few minutes. But I had this on hand, I thought it would be perfect. And this is a full coverage stitch, but I didn't stitch it that way. I did leave the negative space around all of the stained glass flowers just to show the pretty fabric coming through and I didn't didn't do the full coverage on that but I really like it I'm pleased with it I need to find a frame for it now I love it and um, I did use all of the called for DMC colors on this exactly how it was charted so that is my finished stitch. I have two other stitches to show you that I had worked on. One of them was um, a stitch along with Jen and Sarah, the Stitchy Friends. And the stitch along is for the Wee Santa. I apologize, my chart is downstairs. Um, I had switched this over into my mini keeper so that I could take it with me on vacation and so my chart is still in another bag um my christmas bag because that's where i had started out with this but anyway what i do because i like to stitch on my ipad so i'll take a picture of my chart that way i have it on my ipad and that's what i took with me so anyway that's why i didn't have my charts but i know that i showed this last time it's the wee santa um, by Heart and Hand, and this is, um, well, you know what, I did make some little floss drops so you can see, like, the whole thing. Let me hold this up. So, this was a sal. The hashtag is We Santa Sal, and it's broken up into three weeks. So the flowers that I've already stitched was the first week and then the second week was the Santa. I really didn't think I was gonna get it done, but then I ended up getting it done. So I was happy about that, right in the nick of time. <laughs> and then the last week, which is where we're at now, are the flowers on the other side of Santa. So I feel quite certain that I'll be able to get that done. I just need to start <laughs> stitching on it. But um, this is done on a Lugana, uh, which is not my normal fabric. I normally stitch on Ada, but I was just stepping out there and trying something a little different. And this is in a 32 count Heroic by Picture This Plus a Lugana. I don't think you can really tell here. Well, I don't know. It's got some blue and red modeling that is, um, her, it perfectly matches the colors in this chart. So as far as floss, I used all DMC except for two colors. I wanted the red and the blue in his jacket to be variegated. 
And so those two colors, I chose the Fancy Floss. Everything else was DMC. And so the blue is Weeks Dye Works Winnie Bee Blue. And the red is Classic Color Works Cherry Cobbler. I love how this is turning out. I'm gonna turn him into an ornament when I'm done. So I don't have much more to do and he will be complete. So that was a whip from this week. And then I have one other whip to show. And it's gonna be kind of a surprise to me and you when I pull this out because it's been um, some days since I've worked on it because I think I worked on this right before I was leaving to go out of town. And so I think if I remember correctly, I think I got all the way around it with part of the border. So let me check and see. Um, this is Rejoice Evermore. Several of my friends are stitching this with me over on Instagram. We're using the hashtag, um, I believe it's Rejoice Evermore with friends. Let me see if I wrote it. Of course I didn't write it down. <laughs> But I am, this is my friend at Gervais, and I'm doing it on an Ada. It is a Zweigart 18 count in the color platinum, which is one of my favorite colors. It's just a really good neutral. Let's see where I got with this. Okay, yes, I did get all the way around and with that uh, snaky border that goes all the way around. Um, I already had that straight line in the last time I showed this. So I did get all the way around with that one color. And I believe that's all I've done since the last time I showed this. But it is a great accomplishment because I didn't miscount or anything. So it all made up perfectly. And I love, love, love this chart. My mom gave it to me as a birthday gift um, this year. And so I really couldn't wait to get it started. And um, so pleased with how it's turning out. The blue in that bird is so pretty. And the colors that I chose for this are a mix of DMC and Fancy Floss. I do that all the time, um, especially with big things. What I'll do, like kind of my process is I'll just look at the chart and I'll decide where does it really count? Like where am I gonna get the most bang for my buck? if I buy fancy floss. So, of course, I wanted the birds, the house, color, there's a few more colors. Um, but some of the colors I just didn't. I mean, I just did with DMC. And so that is where I'm at with that stitch. It's really enjoyable. It's, um, I love, I love not a ton of color change if I, can help it. I like to, excuse me, I just dropped my floss. And if I don't pick this up, it's going to stay up here. In fact, I did that last week and I told myself, don't bend down, just pick it up after. And I didn't pick it up. And so <clears throat> it's not something that I have stitched on. So I'm glad I didn't like go reaching for it because when I came up here today and sat back here, I was like, oh my gosh, there is one of my projects <laughs> on the floor. And there's a floss that's like not even for that project. So I don't even know, I do not even know where that one belongs, but it needs to find its home and I don't know what to do. So anyway, that'll be interesting to try to, I guess when it's time to stitch with it, I will then know, okay, that's where, that's what this was for. So we'll see. And then hopefully by that point, I know where I put it and I remember, so. Okay, as far as actual stitching on things, that's all I've done, really. Um, I did I did have like a little beach start, but it's like not even enough to bother to show. So maybe next time I'll have more done on that because I had done a color conversion on something and I ended up not liking one of the colors that I picked because it blended in too much with my fabric. So I had to frog all that out. So we don't even wanna talk about that today. So since I knew that I didn't have very much to show, I thought, I thought about skipping the video entirely, but there was, um, there's something that I wanted to talk about that I didn't want to wait any longer. I wanted to talk about it today. And I, that is what I mentioned last time 
is an ornament stitch along. So I'm gonna save that for the end and we'll talk all about that. I'm really excited to talk to you about that. But, so what I thought I would show today, since Halloween is in just a couple of days, and I know I've shown some Halloween finishes already this year, that I did this year, but I thought, why don't I show some of my past finishes? And I think I stitched all of these last year or the year before. So I pull, I got, I just went around my house and these are displayed now, but I thought, well, let me take these upstairs and show them on my video so that, um, cause it's always fun to look at past finishes too. So I have uh, five past Halloween or fall finishes to show. So the first one that I'll show, it's in a frame. And this is by the Little Stitch Girl and it's called Happy Fall, y'all. And I believe that the Ada that this is stitched on, um, you know what, I'm not even gonna say because I cannot remember and I don't think I've recorded it, but it's just a neutral Ada, and I did finish it, or I did stitch it with all of the called for DMC colors, I believe. Um, I don't think I changed anything. Her, the Little Stitch Girl's finish of this is so cute, and it's finished in a round finish. Like, I was a little intimidated, I think, back then to finish something in a round finish, but I'm not at all anymore. So I may take this out and finish it the way that she did because to see her finish and everything, that's what really drew me to this project. I mean, I love Happy Fall, y'all. I'm from the South. I say y'all all the time. Um, and But I love the plaid and everything. I just love this. I love pumpkins. I love fall. So anyway, I loved the whole thing, but I really like her finish. So I may try to um, replicate what she did. We'll see. I've been known to do that, take things apart that I've already finished and um, refinish them. So we'll see. Um, okay, I did this one last year. This is, this was a freebie. And this is by Lottie Da. And the chart is called Smell My Feet. And it's so cute, I love this. Um, it's on a 16 count Ada. Picture this plus in the color Whimsy. The floss that I used, I used one strand of Sulky, the 12 weight thread, and the green is the color 1510, and the black is called Almost Black. It's one, two, three, four. It's one of my favorite Sulky colors because it's not, um, let's see if I, I'll hold it up next to something in just a second that, that I stitched in black so you can see the difference between DMC 310 and this color. And there is a pretty big difference. And I really like how it's not quite gray, but it's not quite like super dark black. So cute, love it. And then uh, this one is in a little frame. This designer is um, the French Giraffe. And her designs are really cute. And she does a lot of these little designs that you can fit. They're all the same size. They're like, I don't, I can't remember if it's like, I think it's four by four. And so I've stitched several of hers because what I do is I just use, I have the same like three, um, two or three different, they look different, but these frames that are all the same size and I just switched them out of the frames for the season. So um, I have several different ones by her that I just swap out. But this one is called The Pumpkin Cottage. And the way she charted this was a different color house. I think it might've been yellow. I really can't remember. I meant to look that up before I started, but I think it might have been yellow. And you know me, I love a blue house. So I swapped out the house colors for 930 and 931 DMC. And so it has um, kind of that checkered look. And the pumpkin I think is so cute. It's like polka dotted. So I did that one uh, in 2022. 
Love it. It's called A House on Pumpkin. No, I'm sorry. It's called The Pumpkin Cottage by the French Giraffe. And those usually stitch up pretty quick for me too because they're small. Like I said, I've done a, a several of hers. Now, this is one of my favorite um, fall finishes or pieces that I've done. And it's a pin keep by Stacy Nash Primitives. And her pin keeps are, tend to be pretty large. So I didn't finish this as a pillow. I put it in a frame. And this is the House on Pumpkin Hill pin keep. I love, like, love this. The colors. This is what I was going to hold up, smell my feet next to, because you see just how dark that black is, and then compare it to the almost black. It's just, it's not as dark at all. Um, but anyway, back to this one. I did this on a 14 count Ada in the color chalkboard, and I used the called for Gentle Arts colors on it. And I love that the fabric is so dark, but that black still really stands out. I really like that about this. So there is my finish of that. And then the last previous stitch finish that I wanted to show is, if you can see it right here behind me, these little ornaments, I'm gonna try to bring my little tree over. These are by Emily Call. Uh-oh, I dropped one. <gasps> the ghost. Let me pick her up. Hold on one second, please. Now, I got my tree from Hirschner's. I, I ordered that online. And these little ornaments are from Emily Call. Let's see if I can, maybe you can see them all. I'll take these off and show them separately. But this little tree is so cute. And the hopes are that maybe one day I would have ornaments for every um, season and I could just have this out all the time. But right now, the only ones that I've put on it, I think, are these Halloween ones. So I'm gonna show you these cuties um, individually. Give me just one second, please. Now, this is all one, like you just buy one pattern and it comes with all of these little cuties. And they're super like sweet and cute. Oh my gosh, I love this one. That little bow, oh, and the heart, so cute. She has, these are called, let me tell you, these are called Spooky Little Friends by Emily Call. And um, she's got a Christmas one, I believe, too, and I don't have that. So that would be cute to do and put, oh my gosh, like how cute is he, his little cape? Um, and his fangs, can you see that? <laughs> so cute. I love this one. Such a sweet little smile. I mean, these are so simple. If I'm not mistaken, I might have stitched all of these like in one night. They were so fast, one or two. I mean, these are so cute. And they're just little, you know? And um, I did these on a 14 count touch of gray Ada. And I used the Call 4 DMC. So, love those. And um, I will, I've gotten just a little bit of haul in, not much. Um, I'm actually waiting on an order right now to come in, but I'll show you what I did get in the past two weeks because they're fun and exciting. So, I ordered the Mystery Make Along Ornament Box from Ch uh, Chantel 141 Design Company. And I got my ornaments in. So it's, you get 10 ornaments. They're just the wood pieces and they're just like blank. So you can stain them or paint them however you wish. Or I mean, you really, you don't even have to if you don't want to. But um, if, I, I mean, I don't know if everybody has their box yet. I'm thinking that probably you do. So I'm going to show mine if you are waiting on yours and want to be surprised, just please close your eyes <laughs> or look away because I don't want to ruin that for you. But um, but I've had mine for like a couple weeks. So I think, and my sister had ordered hers 
after me, like sometime after me, and she already got hers. So I think everybody probably has them. But anyway, I'm gonna show these, they're so cute. And so they're just these blanks that you can use to put your stitching on. In my opinion, this is such a good value. Like I hope she does continue to do this because um, for what you pay and what you get, it's, it's a really good value. And to be able to add all these things to my stash of finishing supplies is, val is really valuable to me. Um, especially because once I get into like the full, like I'm, right on the edge, I feel like, of Christmas. Like, I wanna jump in so hard, but I also, like, let me just wait till after, after uh, Halloween. I don't know, but I, like, I wanna start so many new Christmas things right now. <laughs> um, but once I do get going on that, I do a lot of ornament stitching, and um, these are just so nice to have just to have up here in my sewing room, my craft room, so that I can, that I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to go. Sorry, these came in two bags. That's why I paused a second. I was getting these out. And these are really good sizes too. I mean, I'm holding that in one hand, but like, very good size. And the quality, if you've never shopped with her, these are thick and they're really nice. I think this is so cute. I love that shape. And these two, oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> I love these so much. So, um, I'm excited to have these. You can look now if you were looking away, I'm not gonna show them anymore, but I will say this. Some of these, now I don't have the details on what is what, but some of these are exclusive only to that box, but some of them are not, I think. I think that's how it works. So she has a website now. Um, you can just kind of check on there and see. And if there's some, I, I promise you, if you have a finishing need for an ornament, she has a piece for it. I mean, she's got a lot of finishing items and ideas for what to do with them. So. The other thing that I got in, literally we're like on our way home and from our trip and I'm like getting the notifications and like seeing that my uh, mail carrier is on my porch and she's dropping off my keeper club and I was about 30 minutes from home so I could not wait to get home and get it. <laughs> so um, I did get my October Tiger Lily Designs keeper club box. So I'll show you the goodies that were in there as well as the keeper. So again, if you're waiting on your keeper and you don't have it yet, I'm about to show mine. So close your eyes if you don't want to have the surprise spoiled. So this is by Riley Blake and it is a point turner and you can use that like when you're making your pillows and you're turning them inside out and want to get those corners, you can use that. And everything on here really was kind of bird themed. Um, here are some pins from the Jersey Girl Stitch Co. You know what, that's too glary. I'm really sorry about that. Here we go. Uh-oh. How can I, okay. There we go. Really cute, little birdie. And I have a Biscornu that um, those might be pretty sticking out of. I don't have any pins in, so maybe I'll do that with those. I'm not sure. They would also be pretty in my little stitchy case too. Um, okay, so then I got this little notebook. and some candy. It's by the Lake Erie Candy Company and they are strawberry puffs and I've already eaten a couple. They're really good. They're really sweet, but they're really good. Um, and then some floss by Stuart Moores, 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 M-O-O-R-E-S. And these are naturally dyed 
Um, and I think, let's see, I believe they are cotton. Yep. So we have here, I'll put them on my board so you can see the colors. Pretty colors. And then the keeper. So Here it is, and I'll show you the inside too. So, you know, I love blue, so that is so pretty. I really love um, all the different blue florals inside of here. So pretty. So I'll need to put a project in there ASAP. I'm sure that won't be hard to do. But that is all I have for um, haul that I've gotten the past couple of weeks. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the um, stitch along. So I was talking last week about, or two weeks ago, about how one of the most um, common, like comments that I get is about having a sister that I can stitch with. Um, you know, my mom stitches, me and my sister both stitch, and it really is like cool to have that. A lot of people don't, and they either wish their sister stitched or wish they had a sister. And so anyway, in this community, we've all kind of become each other's, you know, sisters in stitching. And it's just that being able to connect and do stitch alongs together is so fun. So my sister and I got the idea. Her name's Laura. And she, by the way, she's on Instagram at, as um, stitched underscore T-O-2 underscore pieces, stitched to pieces. Um, her name's Laura. So go follow her if you don't already. She's the sweetest. And um, so anyway, she and I had gotten the idea why don't we do a little stitch along with anybody that wants to join in and hopefully just kind of make every everybody feel included and you know anyway here we are i know i talked about that last week so we had been looking at and i mentioned last time that i would love for it to be a free chart and so we had already a bunch like in our stash. And so we started looking through everything, looking at some things that trying to find new things. And there's one that we have had, cause I think this came out in like maybe 2020 or 2021. I don't really remember, but I remember when it came out, like I sent it to my mom and my sister and immediately like I printed it out and I saved it. And I was like, I'm doing this, I can't wait. And this is the thing that I had initially bought the picture this plus glacier for, but then I ended up using it on the floral glass. So it is by Hands on Design and it's called Berries in Bloom. Okay, trying not to get the glare. Sorry, this is on my iPad. Um, and this is just a sweet little stitch that can be made into an ornament. And we just landed on this one and just kept coming back to it and thinking like, this is perfect. It's so cute. So hopefully, I know it's been out for a little while. Hopefully not, a, you know, maybe if you haven't stitched it and you want to stitch it, stitch it with us, that would be fun. Um, and I hope that everybody likes it. So here's what we're going to do. I ordered some more Glacier 16 count Ada, picture this plus. And I ordered enough for me and my mom and my sister to have a piece. And then I think there's enough for three more people to have a piece too. And I ordered floss where we were just gonna do the call for a DMC. And we wanted to share with you a little kitted up, um, ready to stitch little kit that I can send out to you to, you know, a couple people that are, that might be interested. And if you are interested in, um, winning that, please be over 18. 
um, US only and do not put like giveaway or anything like that in your comment. But please leave me a comment on this video and include the word Mary, M-E-R-R-Y. That's what's in the middle of that little ornament. So I thought that would be easy to just remember that. So what you will, I don't have it all together to show yet because we're still putting the, these little kits together. So I'll have a few to do as a giveaway. But also, if you um, don't win that, don't worry, you can still participate <laughs> and use whatever, you know, fabric you want or whatever. But this is a free chart and I will link it below on this video. And um, so here's what I'm thinking for a hashtag would be Stitchy Sister Sal, because you know what, maybe we'll do more of these in the future and we can just continue to use this um, hashtag. And the chart is called Berries in Bloom. It's by Hands on Design and it is free. And okay, so today is October 29th and I'm telling you about this today. So you have until my next video to enter the giveaway. So in two weeks, which will be November the 12th, I will announce who won them. And then that way you'll know, okay, did I win it? And I'm going to have everything sent to me or do I need to get gather my things together to stitch this? Um, and then how about we say a start date would be two weeks from that because that'll give people time to like get back to me and me mail it out and you get it. And we could start um, two weeks from there, which would be November 26th. And that's right after Thanksgiving. And so, I mean, I know I'm going to be in full Christmas mode way before then, but I thought, you know what, Thanksgiving will be over at that point. And no matter where you are on the Christmas, like you, you're in it at that point after Thanksgiving, <laughs> whether you do Christmas before or after Thanksgiving, you're in it at that point. So I was thinking November 26th would be a good start date for um, us to tentatively start this little stitch along. I'm so excited that so many people were interested in stitching a Christmas ornament with us and um, we are just thrilled. So that's all the information on that. And I think that I have talked about everything that I was going to cover. So I kept this pretty short and sweet this time. I'm, I, I, I think every time I say I'm going to do that, or I think I'm going to do that and it never works out that way. So I hope that you have a wonderful week and rest of your weekend. And I will see you in two weeks. And, you know, as always, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like. I love being able to talk to all of you. And it's it's just such a fun, a fun way to connect through cross stitch. So, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.